Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use third party websites, for example, Games Planet, in order to purchase and then register Steam keys, which are often cheaper than the main Steam store. So Games Planet is just one of those websites which retail and sell Steam keys. And today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and register them on your Steam client. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest game tutorials. So the game that I'm going to be purchasing today is called Cult of the Lamb. And you're going to see here we have a price of £19.49. However, if we go to Google and type in Cult of the Lamb PCGW, we're going to go to the PC Gaming Wiki website for this entry. And you'll see you have various reseller links here. So you've got Games Planet, GOG, etc. And if you don't buy it from Steam and you buy it from one of these third party stores, then basically what you're going to get is a Steam key. I'm going to click on this Games Planet logo here and you'll find that we can buy this for £19.49. This is the same price as on the Steam website. Site. However, you're going to find that in the future there are going to be Games Planet sales which are often going to be cheaper, and there are plenty of other games which are cheaper on these third party websites. Because this is the launch day, it means that these two websites are actually the same price. However, today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and register the Steam key. So, what you need to do first is just make sure that the delivery method on this website is a Steam key. Sometimes there'll be other types of keys, for example, Ubisoft keys, etc. However, today we're just going to be using the Steam key method. So, what I'm going to do is click on Add to Cart, and then what I'm going to do is to make a purchase of this particular item and to do that we're going to need to log into our account so I'm going to press so I'm going to press the login button here and if you don't have an account already you can just go ahead and create and register an account using your email address and also typing in a new password because I've already registered I'm just going to log into my account so now that I've logged into my account, what I'm going to do is to make a purchase of this item. If you don't have a payment method, then you're going to have to register a payment method, for example, credit card, PayPal, etc. So once that's all ready, I'm going to press the buy now button here. And then what you're going to find is a list of purchased games here. So it says here paid. And what it means is that the Steam key is just being prepared. All you need to do to make this ready is just to press the refresh button. And now we're ready to go ahead and find the actual Steam key. So I'll click on the game. And then what I'm going to do here is to click enable this product. And now the Steam key has been generated. So what I'm going to do is to copy and paste this particular key by right clicking and then press copy. And then I'm going to open up my Steam client. So I'm going to go to Steam here. And then we're going to go to Games and then click Activate a product on Steam. And then we're going to go through this wizard here. I'm going to press Next and then Agree. Then I'm going to paste in the product code. So I'm going to right click and then press Paste. And now my product code is here. I'm going to press Next. And that's saying that the product activation has been successful. I'm going to press finish. And that's asking us whether we want to install the game. So I'm going to press cancel here. I'm just going to show you the other way of doing this. I'm going to go to the library. And then I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to type in cult. And then we're going to find the game in our library. So this is fully registered as a Steam game now. I'm going to go ahead and install this. Here I'm going to press next. And it's going to install into my library. So anyway, this is the method for getting Games Planet games working on your Steam client. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.